as promised to our NBC News exclusive, the American doctor who was, you'll remember, reported to be near death with Ebola when we watched him walk into that Atlanta hospital. His first interview about his incredible story, which he once thought he might not live to tell. And Matt Lauer tells us tonight about this extraordinary conversation. Brian, good evening. I'm here in Asheville, North Carolina, and this is where Dr. Kent Brandley, his wife Amber, and their children have been in seclusion since he was released from Emory University Hospital a short time ago. We sat down for an exclusive interview, and it was during our time together that we all learned the news that one of his dearest friends, another doctor serving at the same hospital where he served in Liberia, has now contracted the Ebola virus. I was notified about that this morning, and spent a good long while uh, in tearful prayer. You had become, I would imagine, expert at recognizing the symptoms, and you had become extremely familiar with the progression of those symptoms, which takes us to July 23rd. July 23rd, you wake up, take me through the day. I woke up that morning, and really I just felt a little off felt a little warm, a little under the weather. I took my temperature, and it was 100.0, I think. And your family was thousands of miles away, and you knew they couldn't come back. I was so thankful that Amber and the kids were not there. That would have been an overwhelming mental burden if I had woken up sick, laying in bed next to my wife, with one of my children snuggled up next to me. Fortunately for Dr. Brantley, his wife Amber and their two children had left Liberia three days earlier to attend a wedding in Texas. Then when he did call to tell me he had Ebola, <laughs> I don't know if I can describe that. I was, I knew what was coming. I'd seen him treat these people who had already been diagnosed and I knew how it ends. I knew how everyone had ended up so far. Um, so I had the, um, the disadvantage of having the knowledge of <laughs> the course of the disease and I was scared. There was a time during those days in Liberia when you were really sick that doctors didn't think you would make it through one of those nights. Were you aware of that? Yeah. Did they talk to you about it? I don't think they ever said, Kent, I think you're about to die. But um, I felt like I was about to die. And I said to the nurse who was taking care of me, I'm sick, I have no reserve, and I don't know how long I can keep this up. I thought, I, I'm not going to be able to continue breathing this way. And they had no way to breathe for me if I had quit breathing. Brian, Dr. Brantley says he's still weak, but he's improving every day. And by the way, he says he wants to tell his story so that Americans won't forget the terrible situation that is taking place in Liberia. Will he go back? He says that's a decision they'll make down the road.